Let's divide 7 by 6. So let's think of this as a fraction. 7 divided by 6, that's the same as 7, 6. So we could think of it as a fraction. And you could on your calculator divide 7 by 6 to get the answer. 7 divided by 6, that gives you 1.16666. The 6's just keep going. So we could round this. We could call this 1.17. That would be okay, but this is rounded. We could also take these 6's here, get rid of them, and then put a line over the 6 to show it repeats. This would be more accurate than the rounded number. Just need to know what your teacher wants. The other way you could do it is you could take 7 and see how many times 6 goes into 7. It goes into 7 once. 1 times 6 is 6. We subtract and get 1. It doesn't go into 1. Let's call this 10 and put a decimal point up here. So 1 times 6 is 6. We subtract and get 4. And let's see, move over 1. Call this 40 and we'll move over 1. 6 times 6 is 36, so we subtract and get 4. We call it 40, so 6 times 6 is 36 again. And you can see the 6 is going to keep just repeating. So we call this 1.166666, and we put the bar over the 6 to show it repeats. You could also round it as well if your teacher is okay with that. This is Dr. B, dividing 7 by 6. Thanks for watching.